the earth is divided into four different major domains namely lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere lithosphere what does it mean shall we learn the earth is the only planet which has life the earth has an environment with land water and air providing life to human beings lithosphere the solid portion of the earth is called the lithosphere it comprises the rocks of the earth's crust and the thin layers of the soil which contain nutrient elements which sustain organisms the earth's surface is divided into continents and oceans the large land masses are known as the continents and the huge water bodies are called the oceans all the oceans of the world are connected with each other the level of sea water remains the same everywhere so elevation of land is measured from the level of sea which is taken as zero mount everest is the highest mountain peak at 8848 meters above the sea level mariana trench in the pacific ocean is at the greatest depth of 11022 meters from the sea level continents what are the continents there are seven continents namely asia europe africa north america south america australia and antarctica asia asia is the largest continent It covers about one third of total land area of the Earth. Asia lies in the Eastern Hemisphere. The Tropic of Cancer passes through this continent. Asia is separated from Europe by the Ural Mountains on the west. Europe. Europe is much smaller than Asia. The continent lies to the west of Asia. The Arctic Circle passes through it. It is bound by water bodies on three sides. The combined landmass of Europe and Asia is called the Eurasia. Africa. Africa is the second largest continent of the Asia. The equator or 0 degree latitude runs almost through the middle of this continent. A large part of Africa lies in the northern hemisphere. The Sahara Desert, the world's largest hot desert is located in Africa. The continent is bound on all sides by oceans and seas. The Nile is the world's longest river that flows through Africa. the equator the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn passes through africa north america north america is the third largest continent of the world it is linked to south america by a very narrow strip of land called the isthmus of panama North America lies completely in the northern and western hemisphere. North America is surrounded by three oceans. South America. South America lies in the southern hemisphere and it is surrounded by two oceans on the east and the west. The Andes are the world's longest mountain range that runs through the north to south. The Amazon is world's largest river located in South America. Australia. Australia is the smallest continent in the world. Australia lies in the southern hemisphere. Australia is surrounded by the oceans and seas on all sides. So, it is called an island continent. Antarctica. 
Antarctica is the huge continent in the southern hemisphere. The South Pole lies at the center of this continent. Antarctica is permanently covered with thick layers of ice as it is located in the South Polar region. There are no permanent human settlements in this continent. Indian research stations in Antarctica are Maitri and Dakshin Gangotri. What did we learn? The solid portion of the earth is called the lithosphere. There are seven continents namely Asia, Europe, Africa, North America, South America, Australia and Antarctica. Asia is the largest continent. The combined land mass of Europe and Asia is called the Eurasia. Australia is smallest continent in the world. Antarctica is permanently covered with thick layers of ice. Indian research stations in Antarctica are Maitri and Dakshin Gangotri. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.